Welcome to East Donegal. And what we're doing here at East Donegal, you may ask, surely is this not about Ulster Scots? Well, that's why we're here. East Donegal was probably one of the most densely populated areas of Scots during the plantation of Ulster. And this area here in the Lagan Valley where we're at today is uh, still very much under the influence of them early Scots planters. The names, the people, and in many of the villages and wee towns in East Donegal, the very language as a form of Scots known today as Ulster Scots. Sarah Leach was a young Presbyterian girl who was blind. And back in the day, there was very little for people who were blind or people who were disabled in any way. So she learned to weave and trade and became a very expert weaver. If one can imagine the monotony of weaving all day, long hours, you can really imagine then why people like Sarah Leach dedicated their thoughts to poetry. She done done all proud and the poetry she wrote and the poetry she dreamt up as she spent those hours good over that mundane work. We hope you enjoy this reading of some of Sir Leach's work read for us today by Anne Morrison Smith of Balamoney. This is a lovely poem by the Donegal Ulster Scots poetess Sarah Leach. It's called The Parton Lovers. At eve when I stray from my cot, what sorrows my bosom still swell. Whene'er I revisit the spot where Henry bade Lucy farewell. The sun had shot forth his last ray, yet lingered as loth to depart. May cloud through its gloom o'er the day, but that which hung o'er her heart. The thrush his Vesperian sang, where harmony rung through the grove. The lark as they wander along seemed to chide him for parting his love. Nor wonder ye maids why she loved, so noble, so graceful a swain. But ah, for his presence removed, in grief she is left to complain. <laughs> 